The Eleanor Boat Club in Bridgeport opened last fall, but rowers are just now getting the chance to practice on the water. The south branch of the Chicago River, once known only for its industries and pollution, has now become a source of recreation. Winding rivers are beautiful, but for rowing, having that long, straight, kind of wide space to practice um, is ideal. The boats can just go forever. Coach Trish Brubaker wants the boathouse to be more than just a practice site for the four rowing teams it serves. She wants it to benefit the local Bridgeport community. Bridgeport's a really unique community. It's very much a community. Generations um, that have been here and are very vested in their community. And so I think more than anything, I want it to be something great for them. Located to the north of Chicago's Union Stockyards, Bridgeport was established in the 1800s and gained a reputation for its smelly, polluted water. The most infamous section was Bridgeport's western border, Bubbly Creek. The offal from the uh, stockyards, which were the unused portions of the meat, were dumped in the river uh, where it biodegraded. Uh, it was called Bubbly Creek because the bubbles from the, the, the fermentation process would bubble up to the surface. Since the stockyards closing in 1971, Bridgeport's water quality has improved, but Fairbank hopes it will grow to be a source of community pride and recreation. We'd like to see Bridgeport community able to use Bubbly Creek for canoeing, paddling. Bubbly Creek in particular needs more cleanup. The boathouse is just one recent development that reflects a changing demographic in Bridgeport. In a neighborhood that used to be home to only blue-collar European immigrant families, the population is now a third Asian and a quarter Hispanic, making it one of Chicago's most diverse. Residents hope to remember the past while improving for the future, according to shop owner Janet Scanlon. I think the boatyard's a good thing. Uh, anytime that any, anything can be used for the public in a, in a wide variety and showcase something nice is, is a good thing. The lifelong Bridgeport resident has run the Hardscrabble gift shop with her daughter for the past five years. They sell local products that reflect the origins of Bridgeport and Chicago. I think the history will always be there, especially the boatyard, because that's, that's pretty much, you know, where Bridgeport, you know, the area that Bridgeport started, you know, the settlement. Owen Lloyd moved to Bridgeport 12 years ago and has been co-owner of Blue City Cycles for eight years. He became involved with the boathouse through its park advisory council. I thought, oh, cool, it's going to be a boathouse. It's going to be on the river. It's going to be in like a very important historical spot. So sure, I'll be on the park advisory council. As a newer Bridgeport resident, Lloyd feels the boathouse has a lot to offer, but worries that not enough of the community is aware of it yet. I think a lot of people in the neighborhood don't even know it exists. You know, unless you're on a rowing team or you're fishing, there's not really any reason for you to be in that corner of the neighborhood and it's not in a place that's a busy thoroughfare, so there's a lot of people that have no idea it's there. Jack Hickey and Nancy Funk are two Bridgeport locals very aware of the boathouse. The two live directly across Eleanor Street and recall the boathouse property's history over the years. The property that uh, the boathouse is sitting on now used to belong to the gas company, People's Gas. It was literally a lot. Uh, it was fenced off. We were always told never to cross the street, never go near the river. Jack is a fifth generation Bridgeport resident who bought his home back in 1963. His front window faces the boathouse. I kind of enjoy watching the people, <laughs> enjoying the facilities there. Nancy does more than people watch. At first she was hesitant that it would bring unwanted traffic to her block, but now uses the boathouse regularly for its public exercise classes. I think it changed everybody on the block's mind. I think we all like it. It's a cool building. Um, some of us use it for fitness classes. I personally go there at least three to four times, if not more, um, a week. Last Saturday, the boathouse hosted a launch party to welcome members of the community. A mix of younger and older Bridgeport residents toured the facilities and some of the brave even got out on the water. Overall, the Eleanor Boathouse has received a warm welcome from the Bridgeport community. Many have high hopes that it will continue to bring more attention and diversity to Bridgeport and its history. I think it, it's bringing a wide variety of people, like nobody ever knew we were around here. They didn't even know this existed. So I think in that respect, it's, it's great. It's, it's bringing people from all walks of life here.